Hey everyone, welcome back to the Heretic Servo channel. It is I, Jack, and Five Nights at Freddy. Have you seen this movie? Or have you heard of the, the franchise? Well, if you have not heard of the franchise, you've been living under a rock. Pretty much everyone has, has heard about this franchise. This little video game people would watch other people play. And, well, so popular it became a movie. Now... This movie was released in theaters and at the same time on Peacock. And you would think by doing that type of uh, format, the movie would lose money. <laughs> no, it did not. No. For that weekend, the domestic gross in theaters for this film was 78. Actually, they rounded up. So $80 million. Internationally it made 53 million dollars rounding up so this movie which cost 20 million dollars to make already one of the most successful horror films in well u.s history basically i guess now is it good though <laughs> because here's the other thing though uh the critics say one thing the audience says a whole different thing now I saw the film not in theaters. I saw it on Peacock or the cock as they call it. And I'll say this. It is not for me. It's not aimed for my demographic. Now, the animatronics, the there really isn't a lot of CG in this. Uh, it's really more practical. So the Jim Henson uh, production company was tasked in making you know, all the, the Five Nights at Freddy um, animatronics. And they look amazing. They really, really do look amazing. And if anything, it kind of goes to show you why we need to start re relying less on CGI and do more practical. Because had those animatronics been CGI'd, it would have been horrible. It would have looked horrible. Also, the budget would have been over $20 million. It would have been probably at maybe $40 million. Um, regardless, the movie still made a whole bunch of money, but still, it was made for twenty million. And again, using practical uh, effects, so it's it's it goes to show maybe it's time we we start going away from computers a little bit. Now, the film, from my understanding, I haven't played the game. I'll be honest, I haven't played the game, but I know of the game. Um, of course, Five Nights at Freddy is supposed to be you. You're in this, um, like uh, Chuck E. Cheese type of place, uh, Freddy Fast Bears Pizzeria, and you're stuck there, I guess, for five days, and you're trying to survive and not get caught by these uh, these animatronics that are lurking in the shadows. Well, the movie takes a different uh, avenue towards this. The av the story is basically. Uh, this guy who wants to take care of his little sister has to take a job and the only job available to him is to be the overnight security at this pizzeria. Which brings up a question is why? <laughs> why do you need security just to make sure people don't go in? And well, we know now why. Of course, these, these animatronics are haunted by the spirits of several little dead children. And, of course, they come alive, and whoever is in there, they will die. Well, it's it's a good premise, except it doesn't really seem... It doesn't seem to be that it takes place in five days. It doesn't. It's just they're going with the title. But, regardless. Now, the thing is, they the, the producers said they're going to... They were pushing PG-13, because this is a PG-13 film. They're pushing it to its max. Well... I have a feeling they really meant we're pushing PG to its max. Because in reality, this film is not really scary. It's And again, that's why I say it's not aimed for me. It's not aimed at my demographic. It's aimed really for little kids. This is a gateway horror film. So it's made for little kids who are not ready for your Halloween or your uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, maybe. Or your... Um, I don't know, the Saw or Exorcist. Pick any one of any of the greats. They're not ready for it. So this is a great gateway film. Gets them 
gets them prepared for that sense of anxiety that that you have or you experience when you watch a horror film so it, it's it's really aimed at them you know the ages are really 10 to 13 that's your age range for the for this film so for adults you're just wondering you're scratching your head going wait that makes no sense what the why why if she knew then why is she there why is she not trying to do something about this so that questions but that's because i'm an adult and that's because i am i am looking at things critically i'm and even then, even though I tried to go into this completely blind, I tried to go into this um, just just to have fun. I just couldn't have fun. I will say this, though. The story... See, the to me, it's like there's two stories mashed in and just slapped on with the Five Nights at Freddy title. The story of the guy who is trying to solve the kidnapping of his little brother and his theory is that he can remember in his dreams who could he be so he's trying to control his dreams kind of like an inception kind of thing that was interesting that was pretty interesting but then they shoehorn the five nights at freddy and especially the animatronics and there's a point where you realize oh they're not scary at all they're not they're pretty they're pretty tame so, to to me, that's where I lost it. I, I was like, okay, well, I made it. I made it to the end. <laughs> and I was just like, okay, well, there you go. I saw Five Nights at Freddy. Um, but for little kids, I think it's going to be a whole different experience. Um, I've talked to friends who have little kids, and they said that their little kids loved it. So, there you go. That's the proof. This film was not made for me. It's not made for my... For adults who are looking for horror to be a certain way. Um, gore fiends who need to see so much brain splatter on the wall for it to be a good horror film. No, this is for kids who just want to have that little rush, you know. And in thinking, good for them. Good for them because... That's how we'll get a, a future generation of horror movie directors and writers. Because these little kids, they got the rush from Five Nights at Freddy. And who knows? Like I said, it's a gateway movie. Maybe this will push them to start, you know, trying to see films like Exorcist, Halloween, uh, Saw. Or even another movie I'm going to review a little bit later called When Evil Lurks. Ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah. But anyway, what do I think of this film? Again, it's not made for me. Personally, for me, I give it a 4 out of 10. But if you're a little kid, and from what I've heard, little kids really love this. So for them, it's really more of a 10. But to each his own, I say. If you saw the film, if you're a fan of the series, what did you think? Uh, From my understanding, a lot of fans love it. They love the little Easter eggs. Again, I know of the game. Never really played it. So I don't know all the Easter eggs. But I'm like, cool, alright. They did look awesome. They did look awesome. But, share your thoughts in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, all those good things. And, I'll see you next time. Cheers.